This Christmas, don't be boring and give your family and friends the same old presents. You know what I'm talking about. Jocks, socks, and chocolates. Well, maybe you keep the chocolates. But instead, give them something they will really, really love. Your art. I mean, if you're an artist, and it doesn't matter what level you're at right now, whether you're an experienced artist or you're just setting out, your family and friends would absolutely love a gift of your art for Christmas, something that you've made yourself. Did you know you can take your artwork and turn it into hundreds of different gift ideas? Um, in this day and age, it's possible to take one piece of art and literally turn it into lots and lots of different gift ideas for all of your family and friends. You could send Christmas cards and I'll show you an easy system on how you can take a piece of your art and start sending beautiful Christmas cards like the one you see there. You could even send postcards if you wanted to. But what about frame prints? You know, you could take one photo of uh, you know your best piece of art that you've done this year, and you could turn it into a frame print like you see on the screen. You can choose the color of the matting, the color of the frame, the size, and so on, and create beautiful, you know, paintings that are ready to hang on the wall. Prints of your paintings. So your, your family and friends can put them straight up on the wall, and they're going to look great. Now, if you don't like the frame prints, there's always prints on canvas. This is where they stretch a canvas, um, and you can see the sides there. They paint them black, and they're ready to hang straight on the wall. And again, you know, just take one of your best pieces of art, and uh, you can do that in a matter of moments, create a nice print on canvas like this. But what about things like wall clocks? You know, there's a whole array of different styles of wall clocks that you could um, turn your art into. And that's a permanent reminder, you know, if you put a clock in someone's kitchen on the wall, every time they look at the time, they're gonna be thinking about you and your art. You can create coasters quite easily, in a matter of moments, really. Fridge magnets, so every time they um, you know, wanna stick something on the fridge, they can use one of your pieces of art on a fridge magnet. What about aprons? Um, you can see my painting there of fishing buddies. Um, I put a little caption on there, you catch it, I cook it, right? So you can have a bit of fun with your art as well and um, easily create things like aprons. Um, for those who've got iPhones and iPads, you can create cases. Put your artwork on the case of an iPhone um, or an iPad, fantastic. What about things like t-shirts and hoodies? And again, you can see I put a caption on there. I've just put the name of the painting itself, but you can put in whatever caption you like. Um, and you can choose whatever color you like and the style of t-shirt or long sleeve, um, hoodies. You can create a whole range of different clothing that has your artwork on it. You can even print on the back in some cases. Um, so, you know, people could be wearing your art around if that's what you want them to do. What a fantastic gift to give someone for Christmas this year. You can even create bags. Now, in this particular case, you know, mine's a beach scene in this painting, so it makes sense to create a beach-style bag, but there's a range of different bags that you could put your artwork on. And, um, you know, your family and friends would just absolutely love it. Everyone needs more bags, and to have your uh, your painting on it will, will just be, you know, a, a constant reminder of you and, and the gift that you've given them. Hats, you know, if you're into hats or you know people who are into wearing hats, I've got them here born to fish, right? Um, for the right person, that would make an ideal gift. Now, you, you may have completely different artwork to mine, and that's okay, um, but think about putting your artwork onto hats and caps and things like that. So this is just a small sample of the hundreds of different ways you can turn your art into great Christmas gifts. I mean, literally, there are so many ways I didn't think we'd have time to fit them all into the video but you can turn you know put your art onto pillows and cushions and drink bottles and you name it key rings it's endless um, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how do you do this and the, the great thing about this is it only takes a uh, very little, little amount of time if you've already got good artwork that you can photo this takes very little time and effort um, but produces stunning results and it's going to save you the headache of the mad Christmas rush shopping. Now, of course, you're still gonna have to do some of this, but if we can halve it for you by showing you how to give your art as a Christmas gift, then you can save yourself a lot of headache and frustration. More importantly though, your family and friends will absolutely love getting a gift that you've made. You know, it's something personal from you. Um, your family and friends are going to be your greatest supporters when it comes to your art and it doesn't matter what level you are, if you're just beginning or if you're experienced, they are still going to appreciate the fact that you created the gift. It was made by you rather than just something you went out and bought from a store. Um, it really, it's the best gift you can give if you're an artist. 
So here's a bit of a summary here. You can see all the different types of products we've just mentioned, but again, there are many, many more. Now, what we're going to do is run a four-week program called Christmas Gift Ideas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to create all these different gifts. How to create, first of all, um, we'll look at doing you know, Christmas cards and postcards and calendars. Um, and then the next week we'll look at doing things like frame prints and um, canvas, printing on canvas, things like that. In the third week we'll look at all the different sort of merchandise type things like clocks and bags and hats and t-shirts. And in the fourth week we'll look at a simple approach to how do you create original artwork um, which you can get framed, so small original artwork and that you get it framed very cheaply um, and give original art as well, not just you know printed art like I'm showing you here. So you've got the choice of giving both. Um, so we're going to cover that over a four week period and the way it's going to work is I'm going to provide you with a, a lesson each week and each week's lesson will be broken up into a number of videos and I'll walk you through step by step every detail of what you need to do to be able to create great presents, Christmas gifts, like I've just shown you. It's really easy when you when somebody takes you by the hand and walks you through it. So I hope you come and join us for the Christmas gift ideas. All you need to do is look below this video and you'll see all the details there. You can register, lock in your place for the program and um, you know now is the time to start thinking about Christmas gifts, not on December the 10th. Right? Um, do it now while there's plenty of time for you to think about it, plenty of time for you to paint some nice paintings that you can then incorporate into these Christmas gifts. So look below this video, read all the details, click on the button to come and join us, and I'll look forward to you joining us in the Christmas Gift Ideas online art course. I'll see you then.